Hello everyone, it's Shannon here for Waffle Flower Crafts. In today's video, we are going to create this adorable cat card featuring the new sneak peek kit number 10. Let's first take a quick look at what's included in this month's kit. First is this catitude die with all these different cats. Then there's also the cat tree house die, which is great for your focal point. And then included is the sub sentiments cat die cut. There's also some thread included, but I'm not using that for today's project. I'm going to start with the cat tree die and die cut it out of a kind of a cream and a really light tan cardstock. Then I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut kind of all of the cat beds free from that cat tree. We're going to add a little bit of contrast here to add more interest and depth to our cat tree. I'm also going to cut those platforms, that large kind of cat house that's included in the cat tree, and then the base as well. Once I get all those elements cut out, we are ready to attach them to our light cream, our light cream, cream cat tree base. So I'm just going to add some liquid adhesive to the back side of all of these fussy cut pieces and stick them right down. And you can already see the contrast is starting to build and it's very subtle, but it really does help to add more depth and interest without taking away from our focal point or our stars of the show, which are going to be our cats. So once I've finished adhering those on, I do have one more element I'd like to add. This is the, the second layer for the bed as well as this the ramp for the house. I'm going to die cut them out of this really light craft and I'm going to go ahead and adhere those ramps right on but I don't want to adhere the layer for the craft bed yet because I want to be able to put that over the cat that I have sitting inside. So we're going to save those and put them to the side now. I do want to grab the large cat tree die again and just die cut that little center for the actual little cat house that's included in the cat tree and now we're ready to go. So again, I use three different colored card stocks, all neutral to create that cat tree house. Now we're gonna move on to the cat. So I have five different card stocks here, a white and orange, a craft and a black and a gray. Went ahead and die cut my cats out and now we're gonna add some details. Gonna start with a Copic marker, this is E13, and I'm gonna color this cute little white cat here sitting. This one I'm coloring like my kitty, which is a um, exotic, she's orange and white. She, she's so cute, I love her, her name is Elodie. So this is my little Elodie cat here that I'm coloring. Just gonna give a little bit of detail to her. Now I'm gonna color this other cat that's walking, gonna add some of this kind of orange tan kind of color to create kind of patches and I'm going to grab a gray here and add to it so this is going to be like kind of a gray orange brown looking kind of cat. Super cute. I love the way it turns out. I love how um, I left the belly white so that's nice and cute. Now we're going to move on to coloring this other white cat. So this one I'm going for a darker color starting with black actually. I'm going to color kind of the ear with black and then we'll move on to the brown which is E29 and start coloring kind of patches, big patches this time on this cat. I kind of looked up on um, Pinterest just different kinds of cats to kind of get some ideas on how to color these. There's obviously tons of different ways you can color these, but this is just some of the colors I thought that went well together with my palette. But again, we have that neutral cat tree, so that really does work to do whatever. I mean, you could even do rainbow cats. That would be so fun too. So now I'm going to move on to my orange one. This, we're going to kind of create an orange tabby. So I'm making these little stripes that are really kind of more like pie slices or wedges along the back side. Do actual stripes on the tail. And once I finish that, that cat's basically done. So really this basic, simple coloring. For this one, I'm thinking kind of Siamese, I guess, coloring the tail, the, the little paw, and the ear as well. And then we're gonna move on to adding eyes, nose, and whiskers. So I have a very, very small Copic marker or Copic multi-liner. So a very, very thin black Copic marker. It's 0 0.03, so very, very small, very fine. And I'm just adding little eyes, a little nose, and whiskers to all of my kitties. Some kitties, if they're facing forward, will actually get a little mouth. The gray cat gets a little mouth, the white cat, that's my Elodie cat, gets a little mouth, but everyone else is just nose because they're all 
nose and eye because they're all profile. And then for my black cat, I've just used my white gel pen to add a little dab, a little dot for his eye. Now we're ready to fill our cat tree house with all of our kitties. So I'm gonna grab my liquid glue and start adhering them down and filling this in and really giving some life to this card. I love seeing these kitties um, just sitting there perched and kind of interacting with each other so fun and there's so many more cats in the die set that I didn't use that you could really kind of create like almost like a little narrative with this cat tree house and as you can see once I get my cat kind of positioned in the cat bed that's when I will then place that second layer of the cat bed over so it kind of overlaps that cat that's seated inside are resting inside so it looks more like the cat's actually inside the cat bed. With all my cats now glued in place, we're ready to kind of bring this card together. I'm gonna to start with this A2 panel of pattern paper, which is from the Half Half Lines Enchanted Paper Pad. It's just a really nice pink background for our uh, our, 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 our kitties and our, our cat tree. After I get that stuck down to my A2 top folding, white card base. I'm going to go ahead and start adding some foam adhesive to the back side of my cat tree. I'm using these awesome foam strips from Waffle Flower. I'm choosing to use the 1 16th um, thick uh, foam adhesive just because I like that thickness. It's not too thick for me. So I go ahead and remove all the backing on the, that foam adhesive, center it, and stick that cat tree down. And it looks so good. I love the contrast of that cat tree and all, all our cats, kind of all neutrals against that that bright pink. Then I'm gonna grab the Sub Sentiments Cat Die Cut set, pull off one of the sentiments from that, and I'm gonna add a little bit of black uh, foam adhesive from Waffle Flower as well to the back side, or to the kind of the, the, the back half of that sentiment, and then add liquid adhesive to the other half to kind of where, where it overlaps with the cat tree and stick that down. And once I get my sentiment stuck down, my card is complete. I'll hold up to the camera here so you can get a good look at all of these cute kitties. I love the way this turned out. I think this is so fun. And I really do want to make this card again. Uh, I'll try out some different um, patterns for cats. And again, maybe even make a rainbow one. I hope you guys enjoyed today's card and video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.